If you've been looking to get into cybersecurity and you're wondering what certifications you need to get to make yourself relevant, to gain the skills that it takes to become a professional, you may have already come across the OSCP, the Offensive Security Certified Professional. That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and that's right. Today we're talking about the OSCP. This is one of the most recognized cybersecurity certifications that is in existence right now to this day. It is the Offensive Security Certified Professional Certification. It is produced and created by a company called Offensive Security. If you're unfamiliar with who Offensive Security is, they actually produce and created Kali Linux. And again, if you're not familiar with Kali Linux, I strongly suggest you look into that distribution of Linux because it is one of the most widely used distributions of Linux when it comes to the cybersecurity field. Kali Linux actually has many tools that come included in the Linux distribution that will help you with your cybersecurity career or just gaining the knowledge and skills that you need to become a professional. So the OSCP is, again, one of the most recognized cybersecurity certifications, more specifically when it comes to pen testing. This is a very pen test heavy certification that Offensive Security offers here. And I'm gonna go into a few of the details on why this certification is so widely known and why it is so valuable. So let's go into that. And of course, before we can even go very far into it, we need to talk about some of the prereqs that the OSCP does have. Now here are the prereqs per the website that I'm just kind of reiterating to you guys. One of the prereqs are that you must complete the penetration testing with Kali Linux course that Offensive Security offers. That is a prerequisite. So you have to go through their penetration testing with Kali Linux course before you can even take the OSCP certification exam. Other prereqs that they have listed is that you must have a good understanding of TCP IP networking. So that just means you really should have the fundamental knowledge of how networking works. So meaning maybe you already have your Network Plus certification or a CSENT or a CCNA. You wanna have those fundamentals that those certifications offer these will greatly help you as you're going through your OSCP studies. Another prereq is that you must have a good understanding of Linux. Now, they are very Linux based with their course materials that they offer here, and you will be using Linux boxes when you're going through some of the different trainings and VMs and stuff that they offer. So having a understanding of Linux is gonna be something that is very helpful for you. Another prereq also with that is having bash scripting skills, whether that's with Python or Perl. If you have those skills, it's gonna be something that will greatly help you as you go through this OSCP course. And just so you guys know, here are some of the things that you will have to know as part of the OSCP exam. And I'm gonna read from my screen here because I don't have all this memorized. You're gonna to have to know passive information gathering, like Google hacking, email harvesting, active information gathering, like DNS tactics, port scanning, SNMP attacks. You're gonna to have to know about buffer overflows, working with exploits, privilege escalation, client side attacks, web application attacks, password attacks, port redirection, Metasploit frameworks, and bypassing antivirus software. Again, those are just a few things that you're gonna to have to know as part of the OSCP exam. You're gonna learn a lot of that as you go through the penetration with testing Kali Linux course that they offer. So the OSCP, what is so special about the OSCP? And I've actually been asked this a couple times and we haven't covered it yet. So that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna tell you why it's so special. We said it in the beginning of this video. It is one of the most widely known certifications when it comes to pen testing. If you can obtain the OSCP, it does prove that you have the skills that it takes to become a pen tester. Now there's a lot involved with the OSCP exam. It is absolutely no joke at all. And if you think about it, as you go through signing up for this course, again, you'll see that you have to take the penetration with Kali Linux course that uh, Offensive Security offers. So that right there says a lot for what is actually required once you actually go and take the OSCP exam. Now, another reason why I think the OSCP is so special is because it's a 24 hour long exam. Now, this doesn't mean that's gonna take you a full 24 hours, although it could. It will get you in depth inside a virtual environment that you've never seen before, you have no prior knowledge to, and you're gonna be expected to really scan this environment 
find any vulnerabilities. Maybe you're going to be exploiting some of these vulnerabilities. There's really a lot involved in this test. I mean, the, the fact that they give you that allocated amount of time really kind of will gear you up towards what could be coming. So they get this virtual environment ready for you. So again, not only are you identifying vulnerabilities, executing attacks within this virtual environment, at the end, you are actually required to create a documentation that really goes through everything that you went through. This is a whole report that you have to create with screenshots and details of everything that you kind of experience within this virtual environment. And that is part of the exam. So that is one thing that I think is actually really cool to me. And I really love to see that, you know, that is really special. The fact that you're required to learn the skills, you're going to be going through these different scenarios. You have a virtual lab experience up to 30, 60, 90 days prior to you actually taking the exam. So you can understand all the different fundamentals and things that are involved with this exam you actually have to document everything that you've been through. And that is one skill that many people in the IT world lack and going over exactly things that they found, how they took advantage of this environment, the different vulnerabilities, and then of course, how they actually came to ending the scenario in this exam. So there is really a lot involved with the OSCP. And again, I'm gonna say this again, it is no joke. It is actually a really in-depth certification when you look at everything that is involved with it and the training that they have for this is actually really intense. So we went over a lot already, but how do you actually go and take the OSCP? I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can go to the offensive security website and you guys can see here the cost involved as well. So if you wanna do the penetration testing with Cali, 30 day lab access and the OSCP exam certification fee, the lowest price is $800. Now again, keep in mind, you have to go through the penetration testing with Kali Linux course before you can take the OSCP. So at the bare minimum, you're looking at about $800, which is already a little bit cheaper than the EC Council's CEH uh, certification. The CEH is another pen testing certification. We actually went over that into a prior video. We'll link to that as well. We're gonna do more videos on the CEH as well. But again, this is a little bit cheaper. You get 30 days of lab access and you're going over the penetration testing with Kali Linux, which really is going to show you in-depth details on the things and skills that you are required to know before you even actually go and take the OSCP. It's all done online. So you can take the OSCP from anywhere and you're gonna be put into a virtual environment and you're, again, expected to go through the scenario based on what they give you. And hopefully you pass that in that 24 hour allocated time that they give you. And then you'll be, you know, you'll be doing pretty good. So the OSCP, is it worth it? And this is again, a question that I've been asked before and absolutely 100% yes. If you're going through the OSCP course with penetration testing with Kali Linux, you're gaining so much knowledge there. And then once you actually go and you take this OSCP exam and you get certified, this is going to be a certification that people are actually going to look at very heavily. And they will put a lot of weight into the certification because this isn't just one of these certifications that you can go and do multiple choice. This is actually a very scenario based exam that you're going to have to take. You are actually placed inside this virtual environment and expected to actually complete real world skills. You're actually expected to know how some of these different tools, how some of these different concepts and things like this work within a real world environment. So you actually have to prove that you can do pen testing. It's not multiple choice. You can't just guess and think you're gonna get through it. You actually have to know what you're doing. And if there are any other certifications or anything else that you guys would like me to cover in a video, please leave a comment below. I always love hearing from you guys and trying to do whatever I can to make you guys happy and give you the content that you're looking for. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. As always, take it easy.